GTV. Today I will be showing you how to program the Simcom 777 motor protection relay. I will use this demo case housing a 777 KWHP to show the different settings and simulate a motor for a three phase 460 volt 5 horsepower magnetic drive pump with an FLA of 7.1 amps. I can program any of the features by rotating the mode select switch to the desired position and holding the reset button while turning the dial on the right to change the value of each setting. First, the MULT setting must be programmed to ensure a proper display of current set points. MULT is the multiplication factor for determining true current settings and represents the number of conductors passing through the main current windows marked A, B, and C, or current transformer ratio of external CTs. I will set this according to the number of full load amps using the table here. I will then go to the LV setting to set my low voltage. Both the low voltage and the high voltage settings depend on the motor specs. Generally, the NEMA MG1 standard recommends that LV and HV be set to no more than plus or minus 10% of the motor's nameplate voltage. Since my voltage is 460, I can set the LV to 0.9 times 460, which is 414. I will then go clockwise to set the HV, still using 460 volts, I will multiply 1.10 by 460 to find my HV setting of 506. Next is the VUB setting for the voltage unbalanced trip point. This measures the voltage unbalanced from phase to phase. The trip point is determined by finding the maximum deviation from the average line voltage across three phases and then dividing it with the overall three phase line voltage average. NEMA MG1 recommends against operating a motor above a 5% voltage unbalanced under any circumstances. I will set the VUB to 5 to adhere to this recommendation. Next I will set the OC which represents the maximum current drawn by the motor. It is calculated by multiplying the full load current rating of the motor by the service factor of the motor. Both values can be found on most motor nameplates. I will set this to 8.2. My next setting is the LP for low power or UC for undercurrent. The LP setting is adjustable on KWHP models and is used to shut down the motor or pump on an underload condition. Current drawn from a motor is nonlinear relative on the load placed on a motor. Monitoring kilowatts often provides better resolution when setting trip points based on a loss of load since power consumption of a motor is linear. With my application, normal operation is 2.86 kilowatts, and when the pump has a loss of flow in a deadhead situation, it is 1.86 kilowatts. I will set this to 2. This setting can also be displayed in horsepower instead of kilowatts. The UC or undercurrent setting found in other 777 models is typically 80% of the FLA and can detect a loss of load for many pumps and motors such as dry well condition for submersible pumps based on the current draw of the motor. Next is the CUV setting for current unbalanced trip point. This setting can differ between motor manufacturers. Most motor manufacturers will recommend operating with no more than a 5% unbalance in current from phase to phase. I will keep this setting at 005. The next setting TC is the trip class for overload protection. The trip class defines the trip delay when an overload is detected. TC is a dual function setting with both a thermal trip class and a linear trip delay can be set. While the standard trip classes are 5, 10, 15, 20, and 30, TC can be set from 2 to 60 with or without jam protection. Consulting the SimCom manual will assist in picking which trip class is best for your application. 
I will set this to 20 for general purpose motors. My next three settings are RD1, RD2, and RD3. RD1 is the rapid cycle timer. RD2 is the restart delay after the overload relay trips. And RD3 is the restart delay after an undercurrent. These settings will allow enough time for the motor to start up or cool down as needed. RU is the number of successive restart attempts allowed after an undercurrent fault before the overload relay requires manual reset. A setting of zero is manual reset and a setting of A is continuously automatic reset. For my application, undercurrent could be a serious problem if unchecked, so I will change this to zero to ensure a manual reset. My next setting is RF, the number of successive restart attempts allowed after a current unbalance. Single phasing or overload fault. If the OC prefix is selected, the overload relay will automatically reset after an overload fault. Since I do not want to have an automatic reset, I will select one, giving the system one chance to recover from an unbalanced or single phasing problem before a manual reset is required. The KWHP version has PWS for the next setting, which is the power scale. This sets the range for the LP setting. Other 777 models offer the UCTD setting for the undercurrent trip delay timer. This is the maximum time the protection relay will tolerate an undercurrent condition. The last setting to change is the GF for ground fault protection. This setting detects a leakage current to ground and signals an insulation breakdown in the system. The GF setting should be somewhere between 10% and 20% of the full load motor current. Ground fault protection is a class 2 ground fault protector and should not be used for personal safety, but can be used to indicate motor degradation for maintenance purposes. Once my settings are programmed, I can move the dial to the run command and initiate my system. The motor should be able to ramp up as indicated by the LED motor simulation here. For more information on SimCom, check out our other videos on GTV. The SimCom 777 along with thousands of other products and services are available at Galco.com.